If you've shopped for a natural toothpaste, you may have seen that their packaging tends to tell you that they don't contain certain ingredients. So in this maybe series of videos, I'd like to talk about those ingredients. Like why might you want to avoid them? And is that a good reason to start using a natural toothpaste? So I'm gonna start with the ingredient triclosan. So triclosan is an antimicrobial, so it's helpful in killing some of the bacteria in your mouth. And because of that, it's been shown to help reduce plaque levels and uh, you know, help with gingivitis. Now, even if you've never used a toothpaste with triclosan, I bet you there's a good chance you've used a soap with it, since it used to be one of the things that made antibacterial soap antibacterial. But in 2016, the US Food and Drug Administration banned triclosan and some similar products from soap. Interestingly, they did not ban it from toothpaste. You see, there are some health concerns about triclosan, one being that it might have some effects on your thyroid hormones. I wouldn't say that the evidence is clear that, thi that triclosan is actually harmful, but there's enough there for people to question its safety. You know, but there may be this bigger concern that if it's in soap and everybody is washing their hands with this stuff, that is a lot of triclosan going down the drain. And that could have some bad environmental effects, particularly antibiotic resistance. And that's not good for anybody. Now, when the FDA banned it from soap, a big part of their argument was that, uh, you know, triclosan doesn't really do much in soap. You know, regular soap and water works pretty well, and the studies say that antibacterial soap doesn't tend to work any better. So there just wasn't any benefit to outweigh uh, triclosan's potential risks. But in toothpaste, there was a proven benefit. You know, it helps with gingivitis, so they kept it in. Now, that might be good enough for the FDA, but my guess is that most people, if they had a choice, would still want to avoid triclosan and toothpaste. I think that's a fine call. You know, the benefits are not really dramatic. I don't think that you're gonna miss it. So, you know, you should probably get a natural toothpaste to avoid triclosan, right? Well, not so fast. See, you know, even though uh, toothpaste manufacturers can still legally use triclosan, there just aren't any that actually do. You know, it's not like there were a ton of toothpaste that used triclosan to begin with. It was basically just Colgate Total. And they stopped using triclosan a couple years ago. Uh, in the US, they replaced it with stannous fluoride, which offers similar benefits with gingivitis, but also helps with sensitivity. In the UK, they replaced it with arginine, which offers different benefits, but is a great addition to toothpaste. I'm actually kind of sad we don't get that one here. So when I see a toothpaste that says no triclosan on its packaging, I kind of roll my eyes because that is true of every toothpaste in the toothpaste aisle. Triclosan is just not something that you need to worry about anymore. And it's not a great reason to switch to a natural toothpaste. All right, that's it. Make sure to leave a comment with your questions or suggestions. I really love reading those and getting a chance to answer people's questions there. Take care, everybody. I'll see you next time.